escrito por Bob Kane em 1939, Batman é um dos maiores heróis dos quadrinhos e um verdadeiro ícone da cultura pop mundial. Sua primeira aventura no cinema ainda é uma das maiores bilheterias da história de Hollywood. Faturou 251 milhões de dólares. Quatro filmes e 16 anos depois, o Homem-Morcego está de volta às telonas. Batman Begins conta os primeiros dias do herói, antes mesmo de Bruce Wayne vestir a capa do morcego. Mas nada melhor do que deixar ele mesmo contar essa história. Com a palavra, Batman. And what I thought to myself was, you know, I don't want to make a Batman that is the same as any other Batman that I've seen before. That's not what I thought was the interesting way to play it. Um, you know, I wanted to think about uh, the, um, the unhealthy state of mind that he's found himself in, in terms of his, his need for vengeance, but at the same time, this, this battle within himself that, yeah, he's got incredible amounts of rage and incredible... Um, uh, a very sharp need for vengeance, but at the same time he has the influence of his father, who was a great philanthropist. And all the cool uh, 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 stuff he has on his belt and the, the Batmobile, etc. He has to be intimidating to criminals, so he's got to be somebody who's intimidating to tough guys who are used to seeing coming up against other tough guys. It's got to be something kind of slightly freakish. Who are you? Just me. Can't stop you. There's a world of weariness to to go that Chris wanted, and and he's infused with. A new, uh, an energy, and a hope, with, with, you know, with the emergence of, of you know, Batman coming to the scene. Where are you? Here. And then also just the very practical size of, well, why the bat, you know? Why does he choose the bat, which, which we, we do uh, uh, explain in, in this story. Don't go fear. You must become fear. Batman, to me, was by far the most interesting character. And you, of course, have these great villains around him. But to me, he was the really interesting one. And I've never seen him played really interestingly or given that opportunity. It always seemed to give the villains the opportunity to really be, you know, these these fascinating and dangerous characters. Become something else entirely. Das telas de cinema para os videogames. Batman Begins não fugiu a regra e vai direto de Hollywood para o seu console. O game do morcegão é bem fiel ao filme e tem no seu visual o maior destaque. Se você gostou do filme, reviver os primeiros passos do herói nos games é um programa obrigatório. Lançamento para todos os consoles. So Batman Begins is a stealth action game. So it's going to fill along the lines of Splinter Cell. So you're going to avoid all the enemies in your environment. You're going to go undetected. And the one thing that we've added to this game is a lot more depth in the stealth action genre. So you're going to be able to use fear as a weapon. So what this means is, as Batman, you're going to go into an environment undetected by your enemies. You're going to survey around the parts of the environment. You're going to interact with them. And when you do that, you're going to be able to spook and you're going to scare them. Because each enemy has their own unique EKG meter, which is a heart rate meter. And when they get elevated, that means they become more weaker. Their AI becomes more, uh, more and less, less uh, weaker as well. So that means Batman will be able to take them out much more easier. They're going to throw bad punches. They're going to drop their weapons. They're going to be scared, and they're going to run away from Batman. But in addition to the stealth action gameplay, we also have Batmobile levels. So, you're going to be able to drive through the streets of Gotham in the Batmobile, and what can be described as burnout meets need for speed action. So, we 
had the stunt coordinator from the film work with our uh, this game design team to create very exact gameplay uh, that will mirror the fighting style of the movie in the game. We also have the voiceover and the talents of most of the cast. We have Liam Neeson, we have we have Liam Neeson, we have Christian Bale, we have Katie Holmes, Morgan Freeman, Tom Wilkinson. We also have the likeness of the cast as well. Uh, in the movie, we're following the plot line of the movie, so you're going to be able to see the uh, Scarecrow and Ra's al Ghul. Plus, we also created a lot of unique uh, enemies and, and thugs in the levels of the game to give a more of an extension of a gameplay experience for the consumer. So Batman Begins releases in June 2005 on PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance. E é fim de linha para mais um G4 Brasil. Mas não se preocupe, semana que vem a gente tá de volta. Tem muito videogame aqui na Band. De segunda a sexta tem G4 Brasil Drops. Três minutos diários para salvar a sua televisão. Se você tem dúvidas, sugestões ou elogios, mande um e-mail para g4.g4brasil.com.br Acesse também www.g4brasil.com.br para saber tudo sobre videogame. Anote na agenda G4 Brasil todo sábado agora às 10 e meia da noite. E G4 Brasil Drop de segunda a sexta logo após o Jornal da Noite. Um beijinho. Até segunda.